Hi, this is Freddy Karen from the World of Creativity. Today we are in Copenhagen, Denmark, and we are going to learn about Danish creativity from Master Chef Magnus Petterson. Hello, welcome, and remember, don't sweat the small stuff, just the big stuff. My name is Magnus uh, Peterson uh, Pettersson, yeah. uh, and uh, I am a restaurateur and a chef. Mm. Danes, as a people, have taught me how to relax. <laughs> okay. I think, like, uh, compared to a Danish person, a Swedish person can be a little bit more tense, a little bit more uh, stuck up. It's a negative world most of the time, but I don't mean it negatively. But Danes are more like, relax, we'll, we'll fix it tomorrow. Oh, yeah. But still be very strong in their opinions and in their work ethic. It's just a different way of looking at it. And that's, of course, reflected in the food. So, what's the advantage of being relaxed? You, you don't focus too much on all the problems, mm. only on the big problems, mm. instead of letting all the small problems hold you down. I think that's, uh, that's the way I look at it anyway. I mean, if you can, of course, if it's a big problem, I mean, then we, sh we have to do something about it. But smaller details, we look at it quickly and say, yeah, that wasn't so good, but let's not do it next time instead of talking about it for two weeks and be scared of doing it again, for f uh, scared of being a failure. Basically. That's very interesting and very true. So the like, don't sweat the small stuff approach. Yeah. Uh, okay, and uh, have you, do you have any examples? I don't scream and shout in the kitchen, okay. but I don't have to. I can, they can just feel the way I'm looking at them or if I get very quiet, then they can get worried. Or What kills you in the kitchen is if you, if you stop having, being confident. You can't cook good food without confidence. If you're worried that you're gonna make a mistake, you're gonna perform a lesser. Uh, and I just tell them it's, it's fine to make a mistake. It just can't leave the kitchen. Everyone makes mistakes, that's how you learn. I, w I will guide them and I will tell them straight away, this is not good enough. To, like uh, for children, you know, you create, you set the frame uh, and you create, um, you feel safe. Yeah. Basically. Okay, and, and if you don't sweat the small problems, you automatically become more confident because yeah. you're not being pulled down by those small... Yes, we don't have time. We have to move forward. Yeah. I mean, I think for a, you know, the day starts with, you have to sense of urgency, I would call it. I mean, like you have to reach the goal at a certain time. And it's quite a small time frame every day. So do you have any examples of, of, of the other part of this, equation of actually addressing a big problem. Opening a restaurant, you're here 24-7, yeah. painting or do whatever, making sure things get fixed. So I see, I see every little crack in here because I painted the restaurant myself. But that's the key, isn't it? It's, you go around, and you, but you don't see a bunch of small problems. You see a lot of things that need to be fixed. No, but that's my point. Yeah, that's where I'm getting to. And, and it, but the most important thing about opening a restaurant is opening. Yeah. Opening the door, get guests in here, Start, start creating what it actually is and start creating revenue, basically. But also, also to, a restaurant is like a, like a home. Because I always say to people, but we kind of have the same approach like I do with, with, did with my own home. I didn't buy all the furniture at once because I knew I would regret half of it. I, I want to live there a little bit and then I, oh yeah, yeah, we should have that sofa over there. And, but you still need a bed and you need a kitchen and you need a bathroom working. But, and it should still be quite nice to be there. And it's basically the same approach we had to the restaurant. But why I'm saying that is because I still see every little crack. The guests probably don't. Yeah. They see, they feel the restaurant. They're here eating, they're, they're in the environment and they see the big f f fancy wallpaper and they see, oh, the nice chairs and I like this place. And oh, but they might see a little crack there, but they don't care because the food is great, the, the staff is great. and. And that's the big problem or big solution that has to work, yes. uh, the big uh -huh. hole. From my standpoint, being a creative person living in Denmark, I would say that uh, don't worry too much about the small stuff. Uh, focus on the big problems and find good solutions for them. And don't let the small things hold you down. So there you have it. Learn from the Danish. Don't sweat the small stuff. Sweat the big stuff.